what's up guys I know it's been a minute since I've made a proper video um, but I'm not haven't gone anywhere I'm still doing stuff I'm just doing a lot of things right now got my catch box set up there with the little orange uh, spinner uh, but the point of today's video is to show off a few things that I have made a few new things that I have going on right now this is part of the reason that I've been absent because I've been working on these for the last few weeks first one is the wyvern I'm gonna do a quick review of this today second one the gasser they're two pretty wild looking frames I really love how they came out um, I'm going to explain some of the differences, some of the similarities, why you might pick one over the other or this one over that one. Um, and uh, I'm going to shoot them for you as well. Got some 8mm ammo. Got my uh, got my wyvern here. I'm going to go over this one first because this is the one that we kind of came out with first. This has been a long time tried and true perfected frame. I didn't have any hand in designing this. Yes, sir. And uh, the creator of the frame was Mr. Josh Dills. Josh is somebody I would consider a friend. And him and I um, have talked quite a bit at length about uh, slingshots and all kinds of business. But he came up with this design, and I loved it. And uh, it's got a 95 millimeter width, so it's right in my wheelhouse. Big old 26, I think, millimeter tips. It's nice wide tips on there. This one's my personal one. I, I've got sloped tips on this one. They'll all come with normal tips on there. They're not sloped. Um... And they'll all come with a lanyard hole. I don't have one on here. Because of the way that this fits in your hand, um, you're not really going to have any problem holding onto it at all. And actually, it grips so nicely. I think I said this on a live video a couple of days ago that basically, I don't think... Um, let me grab some more ammo here. I don't think I've ever held on to a more comfortable frame that was flat like that. So this is half inch HDPE, super, super comfortable. I mean, it's it's literally as ergonomic as I've ever held onto a frame. It's crazy, the, the, the wild design of this. It looks so crazy, but it is seriously one of the most comfortable frames I've ever held onto. Um, I, I don't know what else to talk about about it. Pretty much the people who have gotten it will will agree with it right away. Yeah. They bet they basically all say the same thing. Just missing a little bit low. That even though it's a wild looking design, it's super, super comfortable. I'm gonna tilt you guys up. Ooh, just a little, yeah, you can still see the target. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, honestly, it's one of the nicest designs that are out there right now as far as ergonomics go. And it's flat. That's it, that's all there is to say. Um, these are available, or they will be available soon. Me and Josh are going to run a contest for a giveaway on these, so do be on the lookout for that. Take a few more shots with it. Can't help myself. Yeah. Got it right dialed in, I think. just low again <laughs> this is like a 
like a 15, roughly 15 meters distance. There it is. So I'm, my ball is dropping about this much right before it hits the target. It's just shooting a little off. Anyway, second frame we're going to talk about today, the gasser. Now, ergonomics, I think the wyvern wins with the ergonomics. However, with the pinky hole and the way that this thing holds, this is the more pocketable design. Still insanely comfortable to hold on to. But uh, you'll notice this is humongous. The tail is humongous. It's not super comfortable in your pocket, although it's not bad either. This one wins, I think, in terms of pocketability. Just because it's much more rounded. It's also a little bit smaller um, height-wise, although not too much. You can see. It just fits in the pocket better because of the way that it's shaped. That pinky hole, I thought the pinky hole, I shot the figure eight descender for a long time and I, I used the hole as a pinky hole and it just got like second nature to me. And I thought this pinky hole was going to be kind of, I don't know, not the nicest thing, but I was wrong. The pinky hole on this is perfectly set up for me to pull and push just a little bit because I do like to um, I do like to push my frame forward a little bit like that and uh, holy moly this thing I've taken it back and forth to work a few times and not even known it was there now this also has a 95 millimeter width but these are 30 millimeter tips huge huge fork tips on this so this is really not a beginner's frame. The Wyvern, I wouldn't say, is a beginner's frame just because of how low the tips are. So you don't have much in the way of a fork there. The height of that is very low, which means when you hold it, your hands are right up on top of it. <clears throat> With the gasser, you're going to be in that same situation. It's just more dipped out of there, so there's more cut out. Um, but it's narrow. The fork width in there, the internal fork width is very narrow. So it's not really a beginner's frame. Um, it's not, you're not going to hold it hammer grip. You can hold it flipped though. Um, this is also a super comfortable way to hold it, but the way that we actually designed this was meant to be held this way. And my fingers lock in much better with that kind of a grip on there. Yeah. Same thing on this. You gotta aim just slightly high. Oh man. Both these frames are just so stable in the hand. It's crazy. <sighs> on the wyvern, you lock in. I mean, this thing the tail here it's it's not going anywhere you're not going to that's not going to slip out of your hand um and it follows the same makes your hand fit into the same pattern every single time we eliminate the tail and you don't have a good way to hold on to it until you fit your pinky in that hole and as soon as your pinky is locked into that hole it's the same thing it's positive hand placement and it's repeatable every single time. Um, I'm really, really happy with the way that both of these frames turned out. I nicked it. Both available in half inch HDPE. And they both have the same work with <laughs> I mean they're almost exactly the same the uh, 
it looks like the wyvern is just a smidge wider like it might be just a little bit wider it's probably just because of the taper or the uh, template i mean these are posted up in my etsy shop if you go and look at robert rambles on uh, on youtube he does have a video where we're going to give one of these away all you have to do is go comment on that video and then we're going to do a challenge for this one to give this one away, to give one away as well. So watch out for that. Go look for them. Josh Dills is Young Kane Catapults. Young Kane Catapults. Um, yes, go get these guys. They, they're awesome. Now, <clears throat> I was going to cut the video here, but I decided to, while I'm at it, give another introduction for a couple of other frames that I have going on. Now, these are still in the test phase. However, I think the testing is about done. Say hello to the Kodiak and the Cub. <laughs> so these were based off of the same template, based off the same design. But I thought while I'm at it, and I'm designing a new frame, what we should do is make one for the kids. For the little ones. I'm talking, I'm not talking about like teenager kids, really. Um, but I am talking about small kids, smaller kids. So um, <clears throat> this is the Kodiak. This is the Cub. Okay. So the cub is going to come just like this with holes for the binding posts. And when you get it, when you get them, they will come with the binding posts as well. But you will not need to use binding posts if you're not comfortable with it. Basically, you just punch a hole with a leather punch in the band and stick the post through the hole. And then you can finger tighten the posts. They have the little rubber washers on either side. So you can finger tighten them. You don't need a tool. And the binding post has almost no um, amount of uh, heft in them. They will fit wonderfully in your pocket. This is a very small frame. I can't really hammer grip this. Um, well, I guess I could hammer grip it. But I don't know if I would want to hammer grip this. As an adult, it's pretty big, but I think for kids, the size is damn near perfect for a hammer grip. Now, adults also can just three finger grip this. Now, I have big hands, so don't use me as a template, but uh, I think the kids are really going to like the hammer grip and then to be able to transition into a brace grip. And then because it's have, it has the holes in the frame, you're going to be able to put tubes in there as well. Tabs, tubes tabbed and tubes or flats i suppose you could do a wrap and tuck the frame is pretty straight at the top there but uh realistically you could just use the binding posts as well i'm going to shoot these for you the kodiak is going to have 90 millimeter fork width so a slightly more narrow um, and more popular fork width 25 millimeter tips <clears throat> and the way that you hold on to that one to grip there sir i really like this it's just a little bit more comfortable i think than even the yeti oh, man right on Drop my ball. I do have to aim a little bit higher because of the width of it, but <clears throat> so I'll actually show you this one that I got here. Let me hold it against my body a little bit for the contrast. Half inch HDPE. 
what everybody loves at half inch. And you can see the sort of like mechanicalness to it. And when we compare that with the Yeti, you can see it's uh, quite a bit more narrow on the fork. The Yeti's 98, which is what I like, 95 to maybe even 100. You can see that the V-shaped uh, cup fork gap, I guess, um, we switched it to a more of a U-shape. And then where the Yeti is very wide and very gradually sloping down here, we, we scoop that out of there. And then we flattened up. This has a nice like roundness to it on the bottom. We flattened that out to be more like the Chupacabra. Actually, I think I just traced the Chupacabra <laughs> template on this part. Um, it makes it, it makes the frame shorter as well, so you can see how much shorter it is. But even my big old hands can still fit in there really nicely because there's more room in here, and then it's it, it extends further instead of stopping short and then rounding a lot. Anyway, th those are just like design things, I guess that. Um, you know, you would notice, I guess, if you were maybe a maker, but you can see the difference in them. So all the other designs are still going to be available. My Chupacabra is still going to be available. The Yeti will still be available, although um, not very many of them are being made simply because they're not that popular. The Chupacabra has been overwhelmingly, by far, my most popular design. And then the Sasquatch, which is the smaller version of the Yeti, will also be available as well. Um, we're still going to make them all. We're just adding to the lineup right now. And after you know a few months we get sorted out, we'll obviously see what designs are popular and what aren't. And maybe we'll discontinue some and maybe we won't. So who knows. Kodiak. The Cub. Again, not going to be available quite yet but do look for them uh in the next week or two i just I'm, we're still testing a little bit getting some opinions and we'll see if anything needs to change but i think that these are going to be what we end up with and then my other two designs wyvern and the gasser not my designs but the other two um additions to the lineup <laughs> wyvern and the gasser these are available these are going to be available in my Etsy. I think they're available right now. I think I've put a few of them up in my Etsy shop. This is going to be another few days. I just need pictures and uh, description, stuff like that, and then they'll be available as well. We're also doing the, the giveaways for these, so go look for those as well. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you. Just excited and pumped up and letting you guys know what I've been doing um, over the past few weeks. It's just been busy. Um, everything, you know, I'm busy all the time. Uh, I'm, I got three kids. I have, a, you know, a, a business as well as a full-time job, the dog. I mean, there's a lot going on. So excuse my uh, interruption in between postings, but uh, uh, we'll get back on track. And I've been shooting a lot, trying to gear up for these competitions and I, I'm just doing a lot. So I appreciate everybody who, who watches and um, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks guys.